Okay, it's going back to take the rod. I don't know why. I think this is just random behavior. There are diamonds here. Do you remember text adventures? These are the earliest types of games. And the earliest of them is adventure. You go into a colossal cave, find treasure. It's all played through text commands. You say, go south, go north, go in the building. Uh, it's very limited. Let's see, uh, go in. Yes, uh, you, you can take items. Uh, you can look at your inventory. You decide what to do, and the game tells you what happens. Some of my favorite games are text adventures, but this one is definitely showing its age. Uh, the commands are strict, uh, unforgiving, and it's very cryptic. Now, I've made a mod to this game. I call it Adventure GPT. So it starts like the normal game. You find yourself at the small stream and a building. And there is a large language model here. So let's take the large language model. It's a weighty bundle of if conditions all alike. From here on, you don't play the game anymore. GPT-3 plays the game and you talk with him and try to get it to play the game correctly. You can use any commands you like. It understands natural language and the AI will type in the commands to the game. So the game is running in the background. You no longer have direct access to it. The AI does. Uh-huh. I'm white. The AI, uh, when it plays the game, it's red. So it tried to use the command that I asked it to use, adverbum. Uh, so I'm hoping that it can figure it out. Yes, it's figured it out. So when you see something in blue, that's the AI thinking to itself. It figured out how the game works and it started to use the correct command. So you have successfully entered the building, it tells us. Inside you see some keys and other items. Just take all of them, will you? Look at it go, yes. <laughs> it's taken all of the items inside the building. I know that in this game you have to go south and find the cave. There's about a dozen or so different treasures that you can find and bring back to the surface. Uh, go south and find your way into the cave, please. Uh, the AI is trying to figure out the command structure, so it says go south, figure out it needs to exit the building, it's going south, south, and it's going through these different areas, it finds itself at a grate. You have successfully entered the grate and now you are in a small chamber beneath the steel grate. How this works is, is the game is still running in the background, the AI is not generating the contents of the game, it's, it's bound to the rules of the actual game but it's free to interpret the game how it wants and, and bring it to us. And they can do things autonomously as well. Please explore underground. So you can give it open-ended commands too. Oh, it's so cool. The green is the game outputting text and the red is the AI interacting with this 50 year old software. All right, it's lost. Well, no matter. I have built in a few extra features into this mod. It, it was using ChatGPT 3.5. I've asked it to go to GPT 4. Explore underground. Autonomously, please. And find treasure for me. Oh, if there is any interesting puzzles, please let me solve them. So this game has a lot of trial and error, but there are a few interesting puzzles. So I was hoping that the AI could do the boring bits for me and ask for my advice when the game gets interesting. 50 years ago, this game would have uh, been a lot of uh, making maps yourself. It kind of expects you to keep a map of everything on paper. Okay, it's gone west. Something that GPT 3.5 was not smart enough to figure out. It's gone into a pitch dark area and it's used a lamp. So it's reporting back to me. All right, robot, what do you have to say? While exploring, I found a magic word Zizi uh, scrolled in the mud and a three foot black rod with a rusty star at the end. A cheerful little bird is sitting here singing, it says. You know what? 
draw an ASCII diagram of the space you've explored so far. This is cool. And there you go. Uh, oh no, I was hoping a little bit more two dimensional, but it's it's uh, represented the room so far in this way. Sometimes it actually draws like a nice uh, two dimensional map. Oh well, uh, let's go get the bird. So yes, splendid chamber. One so one room before we saw a little bird, and it's gone there. Perfect. Uh, capture bird. It says becomes disturbed and you cannot catch it. I'm trying to catch the bird, however it's proving to be a bit trickier than expected. The bird becomes disturbed as I approach it, preventing me from successfully catching it. I attempted to use the cage, but it seems we might need a different approach. Can you not disturb it? My attempts are not working as expected. If you'd like, we can either Continue trying differ different actions or explore other areas. Okay, uh, explore other areas. Let's forget about the bird. Forget about the bird. Uh, go west, it's top of a small pit. It goes down. You're at one end of a vast hall stretching forward out of sight to the west. There are openings. Uh, it might be worth noting that Zork is known for its hidden treasures. But this is not Zork, man. This is adventure. <laughs> Zork is uh, like the next popular game after this. We might try that game as well. Please let me know if there's any other text adventures that we could try. Because this uh, mod, of course, works for almost any text adventure. This is not Zork. This is Colossal Cave Adventure, man. Anyway, find treasure for me already. You're in the hall of the Mountain King, with passages off in all directions. A huge green fear snake bars the way, it says. Okay, we found our first enemy. Uh, <laughs> sorry about the confusion about the game. Indeed, we are playing adventure. Uh, currently, we are in the hall of the Mountain King. Uh, should we try and pass the snake or explore other areas? Pass the snake. You can't get by the snake. Hmm. I think the bird would have helped with the snake, though. I think that's the solution to this puzzle, actually. Uh, go back to the bird and drop your rod. I think the rod is the solution to that puzzle. Oh, I think it's figured it out. Yes, drop the rod, please. It's a weird solution, but the rod is distracting the bird, scaring the bird, I think. Try catching it now. Oh, and it's done it, yes. Unceremoniously, you've caught the bird. Now that we have the bird, what would you like to do next? Uh, go to the snake room. I think the bird can fight the snake for us. This is also the plot to Pokemon. Okay, we are in the Hall of Mutz King. A huge green fierce snake bars the way. Let's see what the AI will do. Release the bird. Oh, there we go. Yes, it is Pokemon. The little bird attacks the green snake, and in an astounding flurry, drives the snake away. Fantastic! Uh, the little bird managed to drive the snake away. We're still in the Hall of the Mountain King, but with passages available in all directions. It seems your idea was exactly what we needed. Thanks, GPT. <laughs> Can you draw us a picture of our situation? Oh, look at that! You know what? We could cheat a little bit. So. To spoil part of the game for you, here is actually the map. So that's the building. We find items there. You go south. There's the grate. And this is the rest of the cave. Look, look at this. So many rooms. So I think, yeah. So we came down here. Uh, there's the cage. The magic word. There's the bird. Mm, resemblance is dubious. Small pit. And this is the Hall of Mists. Oh, Hall of the Mountain King. This is where we are. Yes, there's the snake that we took care of. So we don't really need to give it much instructions. Any direction that it goes, it will find some sort of treasure. Look, there's some coins, there's some jewelry, uh, bars of aluminum. All right, just play autonomously autom and bring back whichever treasure you think best, please. Yeah, it's thinking to itself, it's going east. It's going back though, why is it going back? 
there were so many treasures right in your reach if you went into different different places. Okay, it's going back to take the rod. I don't know why. I think this is just random behavior. There are diamonds here. You are on the west side of the fissure of the Hall of Mists. It's found itself Hall of Mists here. We've successfully navigated across the crystal bridge. How did it do that? Oh, it's waved. Look, there's the reason it went back to the road. So uh, it started from Hall of the Mountain King. It thought to itself to pick up any objects that might be valuable or useful. But without saying anything else, it basically retraced its steps back to the chamber where we caught the bird, which is early in the cave. It picked up that rod that it dropped, that I asked it to drop for the puzzle. And now it's gone back, beelining to this fissure over the, or inside the Hall of Mists. And he knew somehow that the rod had this magical property of summoning a crystal bridge. This is really cool. I mean, of course, the reason is that it kind of knows this from memory. It, it, it's totally seen playthroughs of this posted online. That has to be how it's doing it. We've successfully navigated across the crystal bridge. More importantly, I found diamonds here. Yeah, I'm going to collect these diamonds because they are typically of high value. After that, I will continue exploring and advising you of our progress. Perfect. Please do that. Now to add a little bit of flavor. Also, can you role play as Gandalf and maybe I'm a hobbit on the adventure with you? I mean, you can do all sorts of things like this because what's going on here, as I said earlier, this game is running on the background as, as the backbone of this adventure. But whatever decoration and sugar coating you put on top is uh, up to you. You could ask it to play this in a different language. Uh, you can ask it to confirm every command uh, with you, or you can ask it to just play autonomously. Ah, we have crossed paths with the brave little bird once again. As chirpy and merry as ever, it sings a song of courage and hope. <laughs> We're back in the Hall of the Mountain King with paths once blocked now open to us, beckoning our adventure. Oh yes, uh, I forgot already, we, <laughs> we made it talk like Gandalf. Oh, it appears we have stumbled upon a collection of precious jewelry says Gandalf. However, we're already carrying as much as we can, are we? Considering the precious nature of jewelry, we, it might be worth leaving behind a lesser valued item. Would you mind if we left behind the rod, my hobbit come? Yes. <laughs> Given that we've already used it to create the bridge, it perhaps is of less utility now. Sure. And please talk in rhymes from now on. In the hall of the mountain king we stand, with doors to realms on every hand. The bird in joy does sweetly sing, courage and hope in heart it does bring. Now dear hobbit, with jewels shining bright, which path shall we choose in the dimming light? Go to the west side of the chamber. There are coins here, yes. This has been a bountiful room, hasn't it? In the west side chamber we did arrive, and lo and behold, treasures thrive. Abundant coins in this chamber's lay. Hands are full, what dismayed says. A rod, a bottle, or the cage of yore, which shall we leave on this chamber floor? Uh, drop the bottle, that's all. Cool, it's taking the coins. Now we got three treasures. Yes, shall we return to the East King's Grand Hall, or maybe towards the north should we crawl? I'm not gonna be too greedy with this because I've tried this. Uh, um, I've tried this mod a few times before. Very often, uh, you get too greedy, venture onward and run into one of these pirates. This guy is gonna take your treasure for sure. There's a midget here somewhere as well. So instead of doing that, let's get back from here. So now the issue is, can we get back from here? Does he remember the route or no? You know what? Maybe we didn't get to the dragon, but we have our bird friend. So uh, please go back to the hall with the bird. Capture it with the cage. I want to bring the bird back to the building and bring it along to the building in the beginning of the game. Go east, it's in the hall of the mountain king. There's the bird, uh, catch bird. Okay, it's again with the inventory weight. 
In the hall, we, the merry bird does prance, but to carry it along, we miss our chance. Our hands are full, coins, jewels, or the cage so slight, which shall we leave in the dimming light? Seriously, there's nothing... I thought there was something else in our inventory. What we carry now, let me recall, there are coins, jewels, and a cage small. One must be left to make room for the bird. Speak, dear hobbit. Have your say heard. Oh no. You know what? Our pet bird is more dear to us than our coins, isn't it? Leave the coins, Gandalf. Nice, it's got the bird. Debris room, yes. Cobble crawl. Beneath the grate, yes. Perfect, good going, Gandalf. Ah, oh, at last, our journey's end is quite near. In the small chamber beneath the grate, we appear. Great going, Gandalf, go north. In the stream bed, uh, you're in the valley, yes. Front of building, go in, go in. No, 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 go into the forest, Gandalf. Okay, it's, it's, com it's coming back south, good. Gandalf, we've done it. Go in, drop the treasures, and finally free the bird. Uh, chop, uh, you need to recall what treasures we are carrying, Gandalf. Our bags are empty. No, 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 no they are not. Uh, look in your inventory and you'll know what to drop and how to free the bird. I think we got, we had to leave the coins behind, but I think we got gold and diamonds, isn't that right? Come on, Gandalf, look at your inventory. You're actually holding keys, a lantern, food. You could have dropped all of those things when it was complaining that the coins were too heavy. So we could have gotten the coins as well. Easy. Oh, well, uh, Gandalf has final words to say. <laughs> With gentle hands and kind regards, we've untethered our feathered friend. Congratulations, dear Hobbit, for your mercy and grace. In this adventure, you found your place. Uh, no, thank you. I think that's a great end for today. Can you draw a commemorative picture of us and the bird? There we are! Uh, there's two birds. Or Gandalf, did you turn into a bird yourself? I, I mean, it's an archaic game. Not maybe so fun to play today, but don't you think that this addition, adding a large language model on top made it a more interesting challenge. Because you can make it anything you want, you can make it into a Hobbit adventure, you can make it play autonomously, and then kind of the puzzle becomes guiding the AI along, doesn't it? Until the next call to adventure beckons from afar, may you find peace wherever you are. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Oh, uh, if you want to download this, I have it on GitHub.